Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm back with more of the Daro Caro Pixar Puzzle Hunt. If you missed last video, we're currently down three puzzles in the puzzle hunt, and of the 15 feeder puzzles, we need to solve at least 10 before the meta puzzle unlocks. Unlike in previous videos, I don't get a choice on what puzzle I'm working on today, I'm letting the randomized wheel decide for me. Now, I don't have a whole lot of experience with randomized wheels, so I decided to bring in an expert of random wheels, my brother Nick. Hi, Nick. How you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm an expert on random wheels, um, <laughs> tires and uh, boat wheels, for example. Yeah, those boat wheels. <laughs> okay, let's spin the wheel and see what puzzle we're going to be working on next. Transmission Mission. I'm starting the timer for this puzzle now. It's getting late and Joy is getting nervous. She wants to transmit her super important message, but the intercellular pipe work needs repair. She's short on time and this is her first priority, so let's help her ASAP. Editable Google Sheets crossword here. Oh. Okay, so they have another one of these pages that we can draw stuff on. Clues. Pipes. All right, I'm going to open up the editable Google Sheet crossword and see what that is. Oh, it's just yeah. a copy of the grid. So huge thanks to Daro Caro for providing an Excel spreadsheet grid for us on this one. These pipes are super interesting. I've noticed that this crossword uh, also has a grid of things on the bottom and a grid of things on the top. And it yes. looks like these pipes are going to connect to the top to the bottom almost. These are probably some kind of hormone or... or something up top and then they're connecting down to different emotions or different activities that might incite a certain emotion i'm guessing yeah let's start filling in the grid and see if we can who yelled did i ask for the gum commercial i don't know that's probably something from inside out what inside out is the um movie being referenced here yeah, it's a quote from Inside Out. It looks like Anger said that. So what's eight across? Brain Squiggle Hills. Jai Gyri. G-Y-R-I. Main Inhibitory Molecule. GABA. Short for Gamma Amino Batriac Acid. Um, Eleven across. Last thing remaining in Pandora's box. Hope. Actually, I have no idea. Oh, it's hope! Really? <laughs> the answer's hope. Oh, 11 down looks like a weird meta answer. No, it's it's mission, you watched Inside Out. What's mission control for anger and... Oh, are these, all these other ones, the emotions? Cause there's five main emotions in that film. Yeah, that's fear. Say what you want, I think it's beautiful. So that's joy. Fashion Island, everyone shut up. That's probably disgust. And then 33 is they came to help because of her. I think it's sadness. Well, I like 15 across, build, change, or grow. I think that would be develop. I think this is headquarters. Train of thought. That's in the movie. Okay. 25 down, irritate is annoy. Okay, 26. What joy makes you do? Smile. Smile. So 27 down? Yeah, a type of 14 across in which you are aware. So dream is 14 across and- Doesn't that have to be eight letters? Oh, 27 down is lucid. And I know lucid dream is a thing. Taking, oh, dreaming. Land where you can construct your perfect boyfriend. Imagination, I think that's- Yeah, you're right, it's imagination. So shady matter, goats. <laughs> yeah, those, those shady goats. <laughs> gray gray matter like brain we're okay. constructing a brain right now i just realized that's why it's all pink okay let's try five down atp energy atp is the energy molecule i think oh you're right the... uh the jellyfish doesn't have this brain oh uh, yeah yeah jellyfish have no centralized brain they have two separate nervous systems that's interesting Activates muscles and plays a major signaling role in ants. Ants? There's no T there. I said ants. It's not ants. 
Okay, 23 across. The basic brain unit is a neuron. 19 across. The things that power her personalities or core memories. Getting close. Our brain's almost done. I don't think my brain ever developed to, be, to begin with. <laughs> yeah, 24 across. Buildup of this leads to edema. Fluid. It's, yep. I'm gonna see if I can find anything for 7 down. Okay, so I got a word that sounds like something that would be in the brain. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find a definition. It's acetylcholine. Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine? Stop. Sound it out. <laughs> a neurotransmitter in humans and other animals. Half of the world inside your head. Hemisphere? Yeah, like the two hemispheres of your head. Okay, so I think we solved the crossword puzzle. So now we have to figure out what role these pipes play. So we probably need to look up what these eight things are on top. It looks like H... O three and H biomolecules. I found one of them on a page that talks about biomolecules. Ooh, I found one. Yeah. If uh -huh. you just Google serotonin chemical structure, and some of the images that come up look exactly like the yellow image. Oh, go to the mono monoamine neurotransmitter link, and you'll start seeing a lot of these pop up. So ah, dopamine nice. is purple. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any of these last four, but maybe we can start doing something with the first four. Serotonin is the happiness. That being said, is that the fifth Hawaii trip? I don't know. <laughs> Serotonin is actually part of what causes nervousness as well. Yeah, they all have multiple effects, which is kind of going to make it a little difficult, I think. What's that GABA? That GABA, I think, is the next one. Remember GABA? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Gabba. Nuri, your tail's in front of the camera. Okay, so the next one is acetylcholine. It plays an important role in arousal, attention, memory, and motivation. So, lecture notes, maybe? The second to last one is glutamate. The other one could be histamine, because I don't think we have histamine yet. Okay, so the first one that we have, which is adrenaline, the options in terms of the pipes that we have, it can shift over th uh, two spots to nervous energy, or it could go to active drama or hurting. Okay, I did find something just now saying that nervous energy is the result of excess adrenaline. Does this spell something by any chance? Uh, it's... the letters that overlap? Yeah, it's GABA pole, GABA pole ampus. That's probably nothing. So... Why don't you, uh play that like ding that you always do in your videos maybe that'll help us like <laughs> i do that in post <laughs> just oh. play ding sounds while i'm solving puzzles so our only options for histamine are hurting or drama glutamate is the main neurotransmitter associated with the sensation of pain i don't even know like what does active drama even mean oh yes Play, play that ding. Play the ding. Okay, go ahead. Okay, dopamine has an abbreviation. It's DA, which are the initials of development avocation. Oh, if no. You, if you keep on That's so that, easy. <laughs> yeah. Histamine is HT, so it's going to be Hawaii trip. Oh, man. Um, that would have helped us identify them, too. <laughs> The, the no pine frine is N-E. Yeah, so Gabba's, be... Gabba's yeah. right there, gently admiring beach ambiance. Yep. Would it just be easier to just color them? No. Maybe, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> okay, now what? A blimgermagdala. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping it was going to be whatever's left, but it, it could be whatever's crossed over twice. Okay, why don't we color them by what the color is in the actual puzzle. So this overlapped at only one place where there was an actual letter. Red and orange cross over this letter O, and then there's this letter L down here. Onokmaloe, loco emotion. Oh, probably. it's a pun. 
All right, I'm gonna try loco emotion as the answer. That was it. Cool. So our time Welcome. for that one is an that hour and 30 minutes. A good puzzle. Yeah, that was a real good puzzle. I liked that one. Okay, so we're four puzzles in. Let's spin the wheel and see what puzzle we get to solve next. Must you pile the food sky high? <laughs> what puzzle were you hoping for? All right, I'm starting our timer now. Uh, the colony is hard at work collecting and storing food for winter. First, we'll need to collect food and deliver them back to the colony. Map out a single loop satisfying Mas Yu rules that passes through all foods, which are black circles and anthills white circles. Um, are you familiar with Mas Yu? No. Okay. I mean, we'll... bless you. <laughs> Now we need to organize our food storage. Each cell's number denotes the height of a pile of food at that cell. Our food storage is set up as a Sudoku grid, meaning each row, column, and subgrid contains the numbers 1 to 9. Numbers outside the storage grid indicate how many piles are visible from the perspective of an ant looking in at the storage grid from that direction. So that's skyscrapers, which is another kind of logic puzzle. Okay, so I've transferred this Moss U puzzle over to Puzz.link um, because Nick and I can work together in network play mode and chop away at this puzzle. For a Moss U puzzle, um, we need to make a single loop that goes through all of the circles. It won't necessarily go through every space of the grid, though. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> The loop, when it passes over one of these dark circles, is always going to turn at a right angle. Also, the loop can't turn immediately before or immediately after going through that black circle, so it has to extend for at least two directions in any direction that it goes. Through the white circles, the loop can't make a turn, it has to go straight through. And unlike the black circles, it has to turn immediately before or after the white circle, but not necessarily on both sides. So we can start with these black circles on the outsides. We know that they have to go away from the outside of the grid because there has to be um, at least some motion in the vertical direction, for example, for this circle, and it can't go outside of the grid, so it has to go two spaces downwards. And then we know for the white circles on the outer edge, there has to be a straight line going through them like this because you can't have a straight line going outside of the grid. When you have more than two stacked white circles, you know that you can't have a line going through it like this because the line has to turn either immediately before or immediately after the circle in the middle. So, uh, and it can't turn on any of those white circles. So all of these ones also have to go straight across. So we have to go horizontally there, and the puzzle is solved. On the main puzzle page, there's leaves with letters and then an equal sign and a number next to them. There are exactly five cells that the Moss U path doesn't go through. I'm guessing that those five cells might spell out our final answer with the code given by the, the leaf numbers. So I know some stuff about Skyscraper. Um, the nine has, a nine has to go here because of the skyscraper restriction and the ones. Should we actually just highlight those as we go so we know we got them? So, I noticed something about this top row up here that's gonna make it easy to get through. The two is gonna be hidden because the only thing that would allow it to be visible is a one, but there's already a one in that row. Uh, mm -hmm. Similarly, the three has to be hidden, and so is that one where they're currently positioned. So in order to see six buildings, it has to be the four cells that are empty, followed by the eight and the nine, which means yep. those four cells are all going to go in order. Yep. So we have to go four, five, six, and seven, just like that, and that satisfies the six. This column, the seventh column, there's a two and a nine missing. But we can't put the nine on the bottom because it's skewed the rules. So it has to go two on the bottom and then nine. 
So while Nick's going in and just filling in the numbers, I'm just slowly shading everything orange that we've satisfied around the outside. So there is a word that has this form, and it's fairly common, but I don't know what it means. It's a member of the first generation of Japanese immigrants to North America, South America, or Australia. If the other one's also an S, then that's, that's what it is. Okay, so this last column here... Mm -hmm. There's a 5 on the bottom. We currently have the 1, the 6, and the 9. Yes. Right? So that's 3. So we're missing a 7 and 8, and they have to be in descending order from top to bottom. The 8 can't go in that top one, so it has to go in the second one. Mm. So there's your S. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying is say as the answer to must you pile the food sky high. That's incorrect. Do you think it's just all about collecting the food? Because they, they kind of indicate it's just about collecting food. Oh, so rather than the five that it didn't go through, the five where there's the food. We have the letters. If I'm following the order of the Masu loop going clockwise, I guess, then we have N, T, N, I. I don't think I like mm -hmm. that. So I'm thinking we keep track of where they pick up the food and then where they deliver the food to. Well, no, that doesn't work because it goes straight from this food to this food. Maybe it would be easier if we just replaced all of the Sudoku grid with the letters. The title <laughs> must you pile kind of sounds like must you, must you, must you. Oh, okay, I think, it, I think it is just, I think it's all these cells that we currently have highlighted, except we go through in the order of the must you. And I think we start at this S. S, T, R, E, N, G, T, 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 H. Never mind, I think we don't include the, get rid of two of those T's. I think we don't include the uh, food. I think we're just counting the anthills. So then after that H, it's I, N, N, O, S. So yeah, I think the answer might be strength in numbers. Um, I don't know if they want us to abbreviate numbers like this in the final answer or not. Strength in numbers. I'm gonna try spelling out numbers at first. Almost there, leave numbers abbreviated. Okay, strength in NOS. That's correct. Our final time for this puzzle is just about 38 minutes exactly. All right, well that brings us to the end of video two and we currently have five puzzles solved, which means we are halfway towards unlocking that meta puzzle. Let me know your thoughts about the Daru Karo puzzle hunt so far down in the comment section below. Personally, I think it's a great hunt so far. I really like some of the interactive elements that they have for the puzzles on their website and they've been some really well-designed puzzles so far. So I've uh, really been enjoying it. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And as always, happy escaping. <laughs>